Should we uh, form a circle and have a powwow? Oh, what's with the, every single time? <laughs> every time. We form a nerd circle here. Fuck you guys, I'm out. <laughs> uh, finally, peace and quiet. What are you wearing? Oh. <laughs> oh, wow. Oh, saved him. What just happened? Alright, here we are, season five. Or six or seven, depending on how you count. We got the normal eight that you guys are familiar with, and we got some new guys. Sisto. Hey! Pack Rat. Dirt Hi. Man. Hey! <laughs> <laughs> Justify. Uh, wait, uh, no, no, no. And I don't uh, want to go uh, now! Keepers and the gyms is just watching. Um, maybe he'll join us <laughs> in a, another season. Um, <laughs> we're doing it like season three. There will be uh, just a randomly generated map that uh, Vintage Beef has thrown together for us. Everyone's going to spawn somewhere random. And uh, everyone's going to die by my hand. That's it. You guys ready? <laughs> Let's Woo! go. <laughs> Did I do that missing thing? Uh, same, same rules as season three. There's no monument. There's uh, a gas drop um, golden blocks. Or golden Ingot, ingots. 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 Yep. And uh, mods no alliances. In the oh, yeah. No alliances. Just, just <clears> want to <throat> throw that out there. No <laughs> tunneling straight <laughs> lines. Yep. Assuming Beef made the map right, there should be a glass wall in which you're going too far. Um, yeah. Actually, check that though, because I didn't want to look at the whole map. So, so um, we can tunnel to look for caves, right? Yeah. Okay. Yep. Just checking. Yeah, it'd be oh. cool to cheat. Oh, there's uh, there's a, there's gonna be a player sign wherever you spawn at. Should just be like player one, player two, player three. Beef was suggesting last night that maybe we should, everyone should leave those. That way, if you come across a player sign, then you'll be like, hey, someone spawned here. Mm -hmm. How's everyone feel about that? Sounds cool. Sounds good. I don't mind. Uh, there are actually right. six player signs, but there's only 12 players, so if you come across a player sign, that doesn't necessarily mean someone spawned there, but there's a chance. Beef so, also else. suggested we should hit F3 periodically, so the, the people making the maps can uh, track our progress a little easier. Yeah. That's a good idea. Whenever you see the mark, maybe. One F3. Um, Alright then, I'll give you one F3 again. We'll see you guys there. Is it? Yeah! Okay. <laughs> Zero Badge has to say, let's just go do this. <laughs> what? Yeah. Sorry, did you have to say that? Okay, we are alone. We are just waiting for the game to start. Uh, ooh, I don't know what happened there. Um, there should be a mark on the screen when it starts. Nothing in my inventory. Nothing in my select bar. I will sit here by the sign until we start. So this is my first ultra hardcore. I'm very excited. Eight of these guys have done several of these. Uh, let's see, the first four that started the Ultra Hardcore, Gude, Paws, Badge, and Beef. They've done, what, like uh, five of these now? Oh, okay, here we go. D oh, shit. Oh, okay. Not starting, don't start. Okay, I didn't start. St still nothing. Um... By the way, for the people who like to make the little maps, here's my coordinates at my start. Let's wait for him to start. Or give us the go-ahead. Uh, so the, the four that started have done this, what, five times now? Okay, go everyone. All right, here we go. What? Oh, very laggy. I'll have to take that into account. See how slow that is? Is it... Okay, I finally collected it. The game is being quite slow. Um, anyway, so the first four have done this five times. The other four have done it, was this their f fourth time now? And the first four is sixth time. Um, so there are four new players, me, Nebris, the Jims, and um, who else? Justify. Oops, oh my god, look at this. Okay, so this is what I want to talk about. I've done some practice runs with the mod in single player. However, there is no way to prepare for this without actually doing it. Um, and as you can see, I'm already making stupid little mistakes. This is something that's totally unavoidable in anything, any any aspect of um, of life. Let's see. Uh, you can only prepare so much until you actually get in there and start actually doing. Uh, you're going to be at a disadvantage, so the guys that have done this before are at an advantage over me. And over the other guys, I've done some practice runs to try to get 
an idea of what I should be doing. I'm already messing up a little bit, tiny little things here and there. But what that tells you is that I'm probably going to mess up more later. Um, this is sort of, let's see, what's a good analogy? If you've ever done martial arts, say, um, there's a big difference, or boxing or anything like that, there's a big difference between, you know, hitting the pads, drilling a technique, and uh, learning it in a very safe env environment. Um, and contrast that, where's my workbench? There it is. Contrast that with actually uh, doing it in sparring. When you start to spar, things become totally different. Let's see, I want one, two, three, uh, no, not there. See, I'm already doing these stupid little things. I don't have enough sticks for what I wanted to do. <laughs> See? Uh, things start to mess up. Your body freezes up. You uh, there's, a, there's like a very natural sense of panic that happens. It's unavoidable. It happens in, in anything. Um, let's say you play StarCraft. You like to do the ladder. You're pretty good on the ladder. You go to a tournament, you do terrible. Uh, you, you start panicking, you're sweaty. Let's see, this is our starting sign. A zombie pigram is here. Beware! I'm gonna head this way. I saw some hills over in this direction. Um, so anyway, to, ooh, lava, yes! To try to uh, sort of um, counteract this effect of stress on the body and of um, messing things up when you're not really... Ooh, there's some coal. Let's go get that coal. I've I've done a few practice runs, and I've also, what I've done is I've made a list of things I need to keep in mind. I have sort of a, a flow chart of things I need to do in order, because I expect myself to forget what, I'm, what I need to do. And even in my practice runs, there were moments where I would uh, get to a situation I had been to before, and I would forget what I needed to do next. I would sort of pause and get confused. and So I actually have a sheet of paper sitting next to me uh, to help remind myself what to do. I have a certain strategy in mind, and it involves three phases. The first phase is what I'm working on now. It's just a basic survival phase to get coal, food, uh, tools, and a basic shelter going. Let me get some more signs. A lot of torches is good. Oh, I should have reserved some of that coal to cook food. All right, let's travel. So I have a list beside me. The first thing I need to do after making basic tools is travel looking for a suitable place to survive the night. And I need to try to pick up things uh, on the way there. One of the things I need are seeds. Um, to eventually get wheat to attract chickens into my house so I can have arrows or feathers for arrows. Another thing I need to do is kill animals, pigs, and cows along the way for food during the few, first few nights. And the other thing I need to do, I need coal. Oh! Is that all of us? Yeah, well, you didn't yeah. shoot first last time, so I figured it was time for a change. Clear. Alright, are well, you good to go then? Yep. All right. See you again. People on. See you okay. Guys. Hope yeah. you all die in the fire. <laughs> <laughs> okay. So we had a little hiccup just there. Oh God damn it. We had a little hiccup. Uh, Pause's router went out. We had to wait for him to reconnect. He said go. All right, go. I'm not going to stop collecting this coal. It's still laggy. We restarted the server to try and fix the lag. He shut off mine to crack. Uh, I'm going to harvest the rest of this coal. It's still real laggy. I guess they've never done a ultra hardcore with this many people. We had to wait for pause to restart his modem. And uh, so I sort of forget what I was talking about. Probably about my list of things I'm looking for. I'm looking for seeds. Uh, let's see, what's my list say? I'm looking for wood, coal, food, and seeds. How many seeds do I have? Only four. That's not enough. I'm getting the sense that a lot of my actions aren't being reported by the game. Oh, there. okay, there's some seeds. I was heading in this direction. 
Uh, looking for seeds for food. And coal, which I have. And wood. I need to collect some wood. I wanted some normal trees in case I got... Uh, pick that up. Man, this is really laggy. This is one of the differences between single player and multiplayer that I just I couldn't really train for adequately. The lag and the people disconnecting and reconnecting and whatnot. There's cows popping up. These guys weren't here a second ago. Let me go ahead and murder their faces off. I think they did they reset the day? They did. So I have more time than I did in my single player tests. Uh, quite a bit more time because of uh, the way that daylight was reset because of all these difficulties. I'm going to get maybe about 20 seeds. Let's see, how many do I have? 22. Okay, that's enough. I'm heading for these mountains. So basically, I'm trying to collect these things before night so that when I set up a house, I'll have everything I need to survive for a little while. And I also have a set of things I'm looking for. Um, a series of features that I would like to have to base my house around. One of those is chickens. Uh, I'm not going to kill any chickens because I want to eventually uh, use the wheat from the seeds I'm collecting to make a little chicken farm. I thought I, yeah, there's more cows up here. Yep, block lag is hardcores. They've never done a ultra hardcore with this many people. That's probably part of the problem. Um, so I want uh, the chickens to be alive so that I can eventually bring them into my house. Oh yes, lots of cows to murder. I want, uh, oh wow, let me, uh, I don't want to stop the recording because I know a lot of people like watching these in parallel, like doing the split screen thing. And if you look on Reddit, people will uh, put little custom links to where you can view multiple people's um, videos at once. So I, I don't want to edit if I can help it. So that that is preserved as much as possible. Oh my god, look at my... I'm going to have to eat some raw meat. Do you see my... What happened to my food bar? It should not be that low. I haven't been doing anything that... Strenuous. I've just been running around killing animals. It must have something to do with the lag. And look, the, this this stuff's not. Let me turn off the recording for a second. Mm, helped a little, not a lot. So what was I saying? I'm looking for a certain set of conditions to base my house around. I'm gonna stop sprinting. Maybe I was unconsciously sprinting. The things I want to base my house around are a source of water, so I can start a farm in my underground house soon. Right away, how much food do I have? 33, that's enough. How much time do we have? A lot, because of the way the time got reset. I'm gonna keep res uh, harvesting resources. And since I have so much, I wanna hurt a zombie. I'm gonna go and fill up my food bar. So the things I'm looking for are water, one, let me look at my list. This, see, you see, my mind is totally blanking in the moment. This is why I wrote out this list, so I could look at it whenever I sort of forgot what I needed to do next. I need water, uh, ravines, because ravines are a real good uh, way to get access to good materials quick. And chickens for arrows. So that, those are the conditions I'm looking for. I have uh, most of the supplies I need before I can make my house. I have the seeds, uh, the coal, and the food. I just need wood. So I'm going to head for these mountains and uh, look for a ravine while the <laughs> land slowly loads in. More cows to murder. There's a... Hmm. I'm not really interested in the desert. I want some trees that will drop apples. In all my test runs, I never ended up getting enough gold to uh, make a golden apple to recover health. But it's probably... Look at all that food I have. It's probably worth it to uh, go ahead and try to get apples anyway. 
Let's see, it's not even midday yet, so I'm gonna grab some more gold, or coal, rather. And if you've never tried to make videos, there's a big difference between playing a game in a static environment where you're safe and secure and there's nothing to worry about, and then having, um, on the contrary, on the other hand, some sort of pressure on you. And there are multiple pressures on me right now as I'm recording this. One, I have to be talking about what I'm doing. If you've never done that before, it adds a layer of complexity to an event. It's hard to describe unless you've tried to do it. Um, you tend to make stupid mistakes because you're concentrating on, at least partially, on trying to talk about what you're doing. There are some normal trees. Let's go get those. I'm going to go ahead and sprint because I have a lot of food. There's water. I would like to find a ravine. I haven't seen one yet. Oh! Goddamn cactus! Goddamn cactus almost got me. I have been traveling quite a bit, so I also need to be watching out for other players. I think this map is... 2500 by 2500. It's a little bit larger than the last uh, Highlander season, which well, let me wait for the those blocks to actually update. It's a little bit bigger. Uh, the last Highlander style one was 2000 by 2000, but it only had it only had uh, eight players. This one has 12. Everybody's still at full health, still doing good. I'm gonna head this way in a second. There's lava there, exposed lava, that's good. At least one lava bucket is a powerful weapon, it won't let you build a portal, but it, um, it will definitely help. Oh, there's an apple, good. Actually, uh, hmm. I'm not gonna kill the cows. I have enough food. Let's head this way and look. What I want are chickens, a ravine, and water. There's water here, I don't see any chickens. I don't see a ravine, but let's keep looking. There looks like there's a. This is a lighting glitch. Let's look down here, real quick. Nothing. Okay, let's remove that torch. So uh, there was a bit of a pause in the recording there while we waited for pause to get his internet sorted out. So I'm not sure exactly. I sort of forget how much I've talked about, but I've done some test runs and I have. Let's say a three-phase strategy. My first phase involves everything up to getting to my house, or to where I decide to put a house. Oh shit! What the fuck? <laughs> Skeleton! Oh my god! Where did he come from? Alright, I'm running the other way. <laughs> Damn it! Motherfucker. All right, running the other way. Half the landscape is not even loaded in, so I don't, maybe there was darkness underneath the overhang. Maybe that's my mistake for walking under an overhang like that. It seemed bright enough to me though. Holy cow. Um, that didn't exactly scare me. It just sort of took me by surprise. Um, okay, so I have a three-pronged strategy, a three-phase strategy. Let's see if I see any ravines. There's one over here. Let's head this way. I see a ravine. I might as well take advantage of this information and wait for the land to load in. It's midday. I have enough time to get over there. Um, but it, basically, I need to get over there, find water, and hopefully find chickens. But uh, I need to make a house one way or the other so I can start setting up my farm. <clears throat> And so I guess the primary... Oh god, this is the desert. That's not where I want to be. I do want these trees, though. Let's go ahead and grab this and this. Let's see. So I, I have plenty of food. I guess I'll go ahead and kill the cows I'm running across in the meantime. I have plenty of seeds. I would like to have more wood than I have. There's not a lot of trees in this area. Oh, 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 oh. I would also like to have more wool so I can make some pretty paintings <laughs> in my house, which is totally necessary. Hey, if you're gonna do an ultra hardcore, this is a, a word of wisdom from someone who's never done one of these before. Um, first thing you need is a lot of wool for paintings to put in your house. Paintings, 
will uh, make all the difference in your experience here on Ultra Hardcore. My food bar is super low again. There's a desert here. I really don't want to be in the middle of that desert. I want to stay with the tree. Give me this wool, sheep! Oh, there goes my third sword. This is why I made three at the beginning. This is one of the things I learned in my test runs, is that you run through swords pretty quickly as you're moving through the environment, killing animals for food. And I, pr I probably have more food than I'm going to use the whole game, judging by the amount of time the previous seasons lasted. Hey, -o. hey, -o. give me that food. I can probably make, um, I've got enough cows, I'll probably make some armor too. Until I get enough iron to make uh, iron armor. You notice the cow right next to him doesn't panic at all. Oh, okay, not going after that. Too much fall damage. So we're still in phase one of my three-prong strategy. Uh, phase one involves surviving and getting to a house, getting enough materials. This is like the basic tutorial you saw like three years ago, or two years ago, or however long ago it was when Minecraft first came out. Hey guys, uh, this game is called Minecraft, and the first thing you do is you punch the tree and make the tools and all that, all that nonsense that you've seen a thousand times. Okay, let's see, 26. This is a decent amount of wood. It's not awesome. There's also not a lot of trees around here, which is not ideal. There's trees over there. Whoa! Oh, those are missing chunks. That's not... <laughs> Someone didn't come here and dig all that. There's water there, lava there. There's not going to be any animals in the in the desert, though, which is the problem. It's about midday. Let's see, that's direction one. Okay, that's west. Sun's going down. I need to start looking for a house. There's a big tree there. I don't really want to mess with the big trees. Mark, 30 minutes. End of the first episode. See you in episode two. I survived one episode. Whoa! Give me wool for the painting. That's right, sheep. That's right. 